I've been transforming trash into eco-fashion sculptures since 1998 and using them in public venues to initiate conversations about how we live on this earth. My name is Nancy Judd and I'm an artist and an environmental educator. Art is a really great way of engaging people and inspiring them to look at how they live on the earth. I think we all understand that our environment is in a particularly dire place right now. The earth is really impacted by human-caused climate change. And there's questions about, can human beings actually continue to live on the earth with the changes that climate change is bringing? Each of us has an impact. Every day we make hundreds of decisions that impact the environment negatively or positively. So we really need to transform how we live on this earth. And this exhibition points us in that direction. I'm really excited to be collaborating with Drawdown Eco Challenge on this exhibition because their work is based upon research. We purposely have researchers from all around the world different backgrounds, different disciplines, because all of these perspectives are necessary. It's not enough to try to limit global warming to two degrees. What we need is drawdown. We need to reverse global warming. By working with activist and artist Nancy Judd, we are pairing our Drawdown Eco Challenge actions to global environmental issues we are facing today. We have linked each of my sculptures with an Eco Challenge action. That is a specific thing that you can do to help draw down CO2 in the atmosphere and mitigate climate change. Carton Couture is made out of cartons that milk alternatives come in. To make it, I took the cartons and I first cleaned them out. I opened them, I cut them, I tore the pieces apart. I cut them into little strips. I folded them and finally sewed them onto the dress. We have a misunderstanding about the sell by, use by, buy by dates printed on packaging. And those really are about peak deliciousness, not about if the food has gone bad or not. One third of the world's food produced is wasted. So we want to use Carton Couture as a way to inspire people to reduce their food waste. We need to learn more about expiration dates that we see on our food. The citrus lace dress is made out of orange peels. To make it, I peeled the oranges, I punched them into little circles, I strung them onto pieces of wire, I painted each of the circles, and then I sewed it on to a dress that's made from upcycled cheesecloth. Mmm! It was inspired by one grandmother's wedding dress from the 1920s and another grandmother's opera dresses. We really hope that the citrus lace dress inspires people to eat more fruits and vegetables and reduce their meat consumption. Meat consumption really contributes to greenhouse gases, and we want people to be mindful of that through the actions they take. So try reducing your meat consumption by doing a vegetarian or vegan meal a few times a week. The Rise Above Plastics Cape is a collaboration with the Surfrider Foundation. I made it throughout the year at different Surfrider events, and people helped me to string the straws onto the threads that I then sewed onto the cape. The Drawdown Eco Challenge related is to stop using single-use plastics. Everyone can make a different choice when it comes to plastic items in our lives. We can look for reusable items, something you can take with you and use over and over again that's not contributing to the plastic pollution that we have in our oceans, in our land, and in our world. The Coat of Hope is made out of scrap Tyvek that was made into a coat and then covered in strips. I made this coat because I honestly was feeling a little bit hopeless myself around the state of the environment and I needed a little bit of infusion of hope from other people. And so on those strips that I tied to the coat, I asked people to write down things that they were hopeful for related to the environment or to community or their neighborhood. The Coat of Hope is such an important piece 
because educating women and girls is the number one solution identified through Project Drawdown that can reverse global warming. Half of the world's population are women, and each of you can make a difference through supporting women-owned businesses. Hope is the other side of the coin of action. If we don't have hope, then we aren't going to take action. And to take action, we really need to have hope. My ultimate hope is that each of my sculptures inspires people to change their day-to-day -day actions that impact the environment. This exhibition inspires a constellation of solutions to addressing climate change, from individual actions to holding our elected officials responsible to pressuring industry. Is drawdown actually possible? We determine that yes it is if these solutions are um, aggressively scaled over the next 30 years and if they're implemented and practiced collectively. We invite you to visit drawdown.ecochallenge.org to select actions that suit you and start building new habits today. These solutions are what we call no regret solutions. They should be implemented regardless of their climate impact because they have economic benefits, financial benefits, human health benefits. This is the time to make radical changes about how we live on this earth. So I invite you to engage your creativity and tailor solutions that will be part of the transformation. This exhibition is starting in the Atlanta International Airport on the traditional territory and homelands of the Muscogee Creek Nation. After a year, it's going to travel to museums around the country that are also located on other indigenous lands.